Hey, what's up everybody? It's Debbie and I'm back with another video. Morning, um, it's yummy. Hello. Before we get into anything, disclaimer, my nails are half done, half not. Just a warning and I do like to talk with my hands. Um, but we just hit 2,000 subscribers last night. I am so, 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 so grateful for all of you. And I cannot wait to keep seeing these numbers grow. I'm so thankful for all of you for supporting my journey and really just always being there. And I have absolutely loved what YouTube has given me. I feel like it has definitely given me a different mindset and more confidence. I do feel more comfortable. So all in all, it's been a great experience for me and I just really wanted to say thank you before we get into the video. So I definitely needed a change of scenery. So I decided to change things up. It is hot. It is like 90 degrees today. It's really hot, but I needed a change of scenery today. So I think you guys can tell from the title of the video, but today I'm going to be talking about five different types of income streams that you guys can actually turn into your full-time income stream. Or I know a lot of my audience is younger folks in school and more mature folks that are like stay-at-home moms and everything. And you may just not even need a full-time job. You just need extra income, which is totally fine. This will work for either one. So I'm going to give you guys five different types of income streams that can be passive or non-passive income. It just really depends on how you decide to do it, but I'm just giving you guys some ideas today. If this video helped you and you used one of these ideas to start another stream of income, make sure to leave a comment down below. I want to hear you guys' success stories. I'm so excited and also give this video a thumbs up. But without further ado, I won't do my little usual babble. I'll just get into things for you guys. So first on my list is a blog or a website. And I know that when you watch a lot of videos similar to these, people always say this and I never really understood how a blog or a website could really make you money. I mean, a website I kind of understood. I was like, yeah, you know, you make a website and you can sell things and you're going to make money. But what they don't explain to you when they say a blog or a website is the fact that you can actually apply Google AdSense which is how you get paid on YouTube. You can also apply it to a website or a blog. And I don't, I think a lot of people, I think a lot of people know that, but I think a lot of people also don't know that. So I personally think that it is really great to know that information. Google AdSense actually pays pretty well from what I've seen on my YouTube so far. I'm definitely not mad about the money that they've paid me. However, I don't know how much the income would differentiate depending on your website or blog. I do think that anytime you start an income stream, it is slow and you do have to build it up in order to be able to make real money. However, I do see that a blog or a website could be really great, especially if you're a stay-at-home mom or if you like to write. The good thing about blogs and websites and doing the Google AdSense on there is that there's also other ways that you can make money with a blog or a website. Companies can actually pay you to write reviews on their products. So you could start a review a blog, whether it's restaurants, clothing, baby clothes, baby food, you know, whatever the case is, whatever works for you and your lifestyle, you can start a blog about that. Brands can actually pay you for reviews. You can reach out for sponsorships and collabs just like YouTubers do. And you can pretty much do all the exact same things that a YouTuber would do just without having to film yourself. Instead, you would actually write out everything and have that as your blog. Now, I will say with the blogs, I although they are still very popular, I don't think that they're quite as popular as they used to be just because of all the vlogs that you can make now. Um, however, I do think that there's still so many people that enjoy reading rather than watching something. So I do still think that blogs or websites are a great way to make money. Now I will say 
with the blog or the website, there is a certain milestone as far as your ratings go for your blog or website that you have to hit before you're allowed to apply for Google AdSense. However, once you hit that milestone, you're good. It's straight up money from there on out and you really don't have to worry about it. So the one thing that I have to say with starting a new income stream is you have to be patient and you have to be consistent. But with that being said, it brings us to my number two. So number two is you can start a YouTube channel. Now you guys knew I was going to say this. You knew it was going to be on my list and for very obvious reasons. I personally, from the things that I watch on YouTube and experiencing it myself, I feel like YouTube really gives people the platform and the outreach that they need to literally do like a whole 180 for their lifestyle. I mean, the tools and the impressions and the amount that they push out your videos, I and I said this in a few other videos, I personally feel like YouTube, you can reach the most people with the least amount of effort. You do still have to put in effort. However, I do feel like Instagram and Twitter or um, TikTok and everything else, you kind of have to play into what they want you to do. And I don't really like that. Um, I like to do what I like to do and still see results. And I just feel like YouTube has definitely given me results without me having to follow what they want me to do. I can do what I want to do while still seeing results. And the amount of impressions and views that I have on YouTube versus all of my other platforms is literally insane. And YouTube is my newest platform. I've had Instagram and I've had Facebook and I've had Twitter and I've had um, TikTok. My Facebook and Instagram I've had for probably like ongoing like six or seven years. Um, my TikTok I've had for I would say I don't know like ever since TikTok came out I had a TikTok and um, I can just say like the amount of impressions that I have on my YouTube which I've only had for a year and some change literally outplays all of those platforms and I could probably mix them all together and my YouTube would probably still give me more impressions. And the great thing about YouTube is you literally don't need any money to start. I literally just like I had always thought I wanted to start a YouTube channel, but I never actually did the commitment because sitting in front of a camera and talking to a camera is super, super awkward for me. And it even still is sometimes, especially when I first start recording a video. I'm sure you guys can tell that initially starting off the video, I feel kind of awkward. But the more and more and more that I talk and the further into the recording that I get, the more comfortable I get talking. So it really does become easy. Um, but back to what I was saying, you really don't need any money to start. I literally just decided one day, like, I'm going to do this. I keep thinking about it. And I keep thinking like, dang, if I had done it the first time I thought about it, I would be making money by now. If I had done this, I would be making money by now. And it finally got to the point where it was in my head so much. I was like, you know what? Screw it. I don't care what people think. I don't care how awkward I look. I'm going to start a YouTube. And I did. And I kept up with it regardless of if I was getting views or not. I kept going because I knew if I kept going that one day I would see results. And I have. And it took me a lot sooner than I thought it would. So I'm glad I started that YouTube channel that day. And I'm glad I just kicked out all the thoughts and just finally started. So it is really great. I feel like the only thing that you really need is a phone um, and like a tripod or something. Honestly, you don't even really need a tripod. When I first started, I did not have my tripod. I had actually, <laughs> I would stack up books on my table to get the camera high enough to where I wanted it and I would just prop it up against something and I would record myself like that. I didn't have a ring light, I didn't understand the concept of like natural lighting or well lit videos or like speaking loudly so that viewers can hear you. I literally trialed and errored every video. If you look back at my older videos, they're not great. To this day, my videos still are not great. 
However, I made the improvements as I noticed things that I needed to work on and it has gotten me far and I have been able to make money. I also think that with YouTube, depending on what your subject is that you talk about in your YouTube videos, I do believe that it is a great way to bring in passive income because even when you're not posting, those videos that you've already previously monetized and posted are still getting views and you will continue to make money even if you're not posting. And that's something I really like. You guys know if I'm looking down, it's because I'm looking at my notes and I am. Um, I have gotten a lot better about writing out what I wanna say before I do the videos. And I think that it's definitely helping with my rambling that I like to do. <laughs> so that's something that I've been working on. And I think that it's definitely making me stay more organized and more focused. And overall, it's just been really well. So if you guys see me looking down, I'm just looking at my notes, I promise. So speaking of passive income and just letting things bring you in money without you having to do a lot of work, that brings me into my third idea, which is affiliate marketing. Whether you're a full-time worker or a stay-at-home mom or maybe even an aspiring entrepreneur, whatever the case may be, I guarantee you that you have items, products, clothing, furniture, something that you are obsessed with in your house, maybe in your car, maybe, um, maybe at your grandma's house. I don't know, but there is something in your life that you have that you are obsessed with that you swear by and you live by and you have to have that item. Affiliate market it. Make that item that you love Make it make you love it even more by loving it and making money from it. Now you guys are probably like, what the are you talking about? Let me explain. You've probably posted a product that you loved. Like I said, you probably have a product somewhere that you love. You've probably posted it on your social media. I've been like, oh my God, I'm obsessed. Oh my God, I love can't live without this yada 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 whatever that item is or that post is that you posted you can get a affiliate marketing either link or code and you can actually post that link or code on that post that you posted about you loving this product and let people know to purchase it with either either using your code or using your affiliate marketing link now why would you do that because affiliate marketing, whenever you have someone click on your link or use your code to purchase an item, you get a small percentage commission off of that item. You might be like, oh, well, a small percentage commission, what does that mean? It differentiates depending on the actual company that you are with. Um, I personally use like to know and you guys are probably familiar with it. It is very, very popular, especially in the areas that I live in. But like to know is a website that gives you, they basically partner with hundreds, maybe even thousands of different companies and brands and you can literally just search up whatever item it is that you're trying to find on the like to know and you can actually get a personalized affiliate link from that promote your products with that and when people use that specific link to purchase a product that you suggest you get paid and you can do this for multiple things you can buy things literally just to promote them you can promote your clothing you can promote your furniture you can promote your food you can promote cleaning products Literally anything that you like, that you enjoy, you can attach to your affiliate marketing and you can make that item make money for you. Now I will say, with affiliate marketing, it does take a good time to actually start seeing income because not everyone is going to purchase from your links. Some people may even go and purchase that item and neglect your link just because they don't want to see you win. That's fine. You don't worry about them. You worry about the people that are buying off of your link. So people will click on your link or use your code or whatever and they will purchase the item and you'll get a percentage of however much they decide they wanna pay you as your commission. And when you post multiple products, multiple people are seeing these different links because one person that's interested in fashion 
may not be interested in that rug that you posted. But someone who wants to be an interior designer might see that rug and be like, I have to have it. Click on your affiliate link. The person that didn't like the rug may see a hoodie or something that you posted and they're like, oh my God, that's so cute. I'm obsessed. I have to have it. They click on your link. You get paid for both. You get paid from the rug and you get paid from the sweatshirt. So the more and uh, the more things that you post and the more you like differentiate them and give yourself a different variety for different audiences, the more money you are, um, the more likely you are to bring in money for that. So affiliate marketing is really, really great. There are tons of videos that you can watch to learn a little bit more about it. That is what I did. And yeah, start your affiliate marketing, do it. The great thing about affiliate marketing as well is you can also tie it in with other streams of income. Like me, I do YouTube, but I also do my affiliate marketing. So you guys would notice on my Shein video, my Shein haul, I posted links for all of those clothing items. I'll post a link in the description box below. But I posted affiliate links for every single item that I posted in that video. So if anyone sees clothing or anything that they want to purchase, they can actually just go to the description box, purchase the item off of my link, and I'll get a small percentage. As well as I also did a skincare video. I went over my skincare routine with you guys. And for that, you guys can actually, I posted all of the products that I used. And if someone decides, oh, I want to try that product, they can click on my affiliate link, purchase the product, and same thing, I'll get a small um, commission off of that. And even if you are a blogger, like I said in the beginning, you could start a blog. If you discuss a certain product or something that you love in one of your blog posts, post your affiliate link with it. That way, people who are reading that blog post who decide to purchase that item, they can use your link and you'll get a percentage off of that. So the great thing about affiliate marketing is you do not have to do it alone. You can tie it in with other things to help maximize your income and your profits. Sun's going down, so I'm losing my good lighting. So I need to hurry up and get this done. So idea number four, I have become a social media manager. This is one of my favorite ideas and I will tell you why. Now, this is something that I've personally thought about doing. It's not something I personally do yet, but it is something I've considered many times and I do think that it's definitely something I will get into in the future. However, at this current moment, I'm really just trying to focus on the income streams that I already have and just the growth and development of those. But eventually, once I get these tied down and to where I want them, then I will definitely be adding in more income streams. But like I said, at the moment, I'm just focusing on what I have. However, I think that becoming a social media manager is a great opportunity to make great money while also using your artistic abilities and honestly, I think that it's a job that you could really enjoy depending on where your interest lies. I have seen so many girls start like their social media manager business literally like day one and they just completely took off with it and they are doing amazing and that some of them have actually replaced all of their other streams of income with just being a social media manager which i think is such a boss move if you're making so much money off of like side incomes and everything and then you can pour your all into one thing and make all of that money that you're making off of all these different things off of that one thing like I think that's awesome. I also do think that it is great to diversify your income in case something does happen to that one thing. You're not like at a complete loss. You still have ways to make money. However, the fact to be able to make the amount of money that you're making off of like six incomes off of just one like that is that is awesome and i've seen so many like especially young girls just like turning their whole entire lives around and really just creating a future for themselves doing um social media management so the awesome thing about social media management is literally the only thing you need is like your phone and or a computer and good marketing skills honestly and just really the ability to force yourself to be consistent with something. Since the pandemic, the amount of small businesses that we had just like blew up. Everyone was stuck at home. Everyone needed a way to make money. And the amount of small businesses that opened were insane. 
but like this is also a great opportunity for everyone else to capitalize on that. You can help a small business while still also helping yourself. Basically what you do as a social media manager is you handle all of their social media posts, you handle responding to DMs, people's questions, comments, etc. You respond to emails, all of that good stuff. You create all of their marketing for them. So flyers, posts, Instagram feeds, stories, TikToks, all of that. You're going to be helping create that as well as giving them ideas and inspiration for new um, media to put out there. And they will pay you to keep up with all of that as well as create all of that for them. I think that being a social media manager would be such a fun job, especially if you're the type of person that already is on social media a lot and it's something that you do in your free time or maybe it's something that you do quite often and you think that you have a niche for it and you're good at it definitely look into becoming a social media manager i also know other girls who are social media managers who teach courses about becoming a social media manager so i will also leave their links in the description box below as well if you guys are interested in that i think there's so much opportunity there i definitely think it's something that you could create a whole entire career out of not just a side hustle so there's a lot of opportunity there if you just do your research and be consistent it, it i mean it's it's a awesome opportunity to bring in a lot of money. And last but not least, I have freelance work. This can be so, 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 so many different things. You find a hobby, you find what you are passionate about, and you can turn that into a business. If you are drawing, writing, um, painting, um, editing pictures, making YouTube videos or editing YouTube videos or editing videos in general, videography, photography, um, graphic design, app development, whatever it is that you are doing that you would love to be able to be paid to do that you love doing, you can get paid to do it. The amazing thing about like electricity and social media and just technology in general is that we all have such a huge outreach and it really gives all of us way more opportunity than we ever had before it was a thing. So you can find apps where you where they basically will promote freelancers and people go on there to hire freelancers for specific things. You may have heard of this app. It is called Fiverr. I've used this app a few times. I even made money on it, but I usually use it to actually hire people to do stuff for me. My boyfriend, I now got him looking at it. He wants to start like a t-shirt business and a hat business. So he is finding people that print t-shirts and hats and stuff on there. Um, when I was looking for a new person to make my YouTube intro as well as my logo, Fiverr all the way, I found so many people. I've been networking with so many different people. I can't wait to find the one that is going to make my intro as well as my logo for me. But Fiverr is incredible. It basically just connects freelancers with people who are looking to hire someone to do a specific task for them. And the awesome thing is there's so much networking in that little app that just helps you like find different gigs and you can apply for them or people can even reach out to you and you can have like examples and work and all that good stuff. Um, Fiverr is not the only app though. All you need to do is look up a freelancing app. They have specific apps for specific categories. Like they have freelance writing apps, freelance drawing apps, just different things, freelance photography. It really depends on what your niche is, but Fiverr is an overall. And I think that sometimes the overall ones may be better because more people might keep them on their phones longer than just looking for one specific thing for like certain events. Freelance work, you can definitely make money doing something that you love. And I honestly think that when you're making money, doing something that you love or something that you enjoy that's not literally making you want to detach your scalp from your head is a very, very important. I don't ever want to be miserable my whole life. I don't want to be working a nine to five. I really don't want to work for anyone 
ever again, honestly. I mean, I'm, I currently work for a company, but I'm telling you, like, once I get my income streams where I want them to be, my savings where I want them to be, once I get my new apartment and my new car and everything goes how I want it to go, I promise you, I will never work for anyone else ever, 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 ever again. Because I have such a business mindset and entrepreneurial mind and I just I I can't stand working for a company that does not have their excuse my French but does not have their <laughs> together I can't stand it I can't do it nine to fives are not for me I was not made to build someone else's dream I was made to build my dream and that is facts and no one can tell me different just do what you love find something that you love find something that doesn't make you miserable Hope you guys like my little tub of Teletubby bun I got going on here. But yeah, so I think that was it for today's video, you guys. I'm going to go ahead and stop here before I ramble on too much and get off subject. But I will see you guys in my next video. As always, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Hit the subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. Peace out.